Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're new and you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe down below so you can get alerts every time I post a video. And if this video helps you out, if you guys can leave me a like, I appreciate it so much. So today we're at Walgreens and I'm excited about this week at Walgreens because I feel like there are so many good deals this week on high-end hair care, on body wash. There's a couple deals that just require like a digital coupon and I bought a rebate making them super cheap. So I'm really excited about all that good stuff going on today. Also, on my main account, the one that never gets boosters, it's always my side account that gets the boosters, I think because it's newer. I got on my main account that is like years and years old, a spend 22, get $5 in Walgreens cash, digital booster. So I'm really, really excited about that because my account never gets digital boosters. I also do have a one day expired paper booster from last week for spend 30, get $8 in Walgreens cash. So I'm going to try to use that and see if it'll scan. Um, I may earn another paper booster. So we'll see if it ends up being better than the spend 30, get eight. I'll probably use that new one, but spend 30, get eight is usually the best one I get. So I'm going to try to use that today and just confirm that paper boosters that are one day expired are still working, scanning, and giving back Walgreens cash like they usually do. So with all that being said, long-winded intro, let's get in store and see what kind of magic that we can work today at Walgreens. Check out your skincare clearance section to see if you have any Olay products on clearance. There are some different ones up to 50% off. These mineral sunscreens were on clearance for $19.99 down from $39.99. And we have a $12 digital coupon that's attaching, which would make them just $7.99. That's really not a bad price for this item that's normally $40. Make sure to check out your makeup clearance. I had CoverGirl True Blend concealers that were actually in the regular clearance section outside of the CoverGirl cosmetic section. And so the cheapest one at my store was on clearance for $2.89. CoverGirl Cosmetics are also buy one, get one 50% off this week, and that does apply to clearance items. So I'm going to grab two of those concealers totaling $4.33. Now the $2 CoverGirl Face Digital is not attaching to these anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay that $4.33. I'm going to get back $2 for each one on Ibotta for CoverGirl Face products, totaling $4 on Ibotta. That will make the two of these just $0.33 cents for both. If you don't already have the Ibotta app, it's going to be linked in the description box for you to download it. When you download it through my link, you're going to get a $10 bonus. And my referral code is YWEKTYQ. The Olay Body Wash is again this week on sale for $7 each. And when you buy two, you're going to get back a $4 store register award. We also got a new $7 off two digital coupon for these. We had one last week that still hasn't expired. So if you have that one, you can use that one instead. But if you already used it, you don't have to worry. We got a new one. So pick up two of them for $14 and use that 7 off 2 digital coupon. You'll end up paying $7, getting back the $4 store register award. Makes the two of these just $3 or $1.50 each. This next deal is for either curbside pickup only or is a deal only if your store price matches online. Today, I'm visiting my family on vacation in Minnesota and I am at a different store than my normal store. I asked the cashier and they said that they also do not price match store prices. So if you get lucky with your store, go ahead and do this deal because it's amazing or you can do it with curbside. So what the deal is, is the Nexus hair care that's regularly priced at $11.99 online that usually translates to the ones priced $16.99 in store are on sale for 40% off online only. And so that makes them $7.19 each. So that is already a great price for Nexus, but they're also on a spend 20, get $10 in Walgreens cash promotion. So what you'd want to do is pick up three of them priced at $7.19, either in-store price match or for a curbside pickup. That will total $21.57. Then you'd want to use an $8 off of two digital coupon for two of them, as well as a $5 off of one digital coupon for the third. You'll end up paying $8.57. If you're in store and they price match, you'd want to pay that either with out of with cash or with um, register awards, manufacturer register awards. If you're a curbside, since you can't use register awards to pay, you'd have to pay that in cash. So $8.57 out of pocket, getting back $10 in Walgreens cash would make the three Nexus products $1.43 moneymaker. 
there is a extremely similar deal to the Dove Body Wash going on with the Dove Hair Therapy. They're also on sale for $7, and when you buy two, you're also going to get that same $4 store register award back. And we have a 7 off 2 digital coupon for the Dove Hair Therapy products. So pick up two of them for $14 and use the 7 off 2 digital coupon. You'll pay $7, get back that $4 store register award. We'll make two of these, just $3 or $1.50 each. Make sure if you are going to do this deal and the Dove Body Wash deal that you separate them out into separate transactions because remember you can only get one of one type of register award to print per transaction. I love this super easy deal on the Playtex Clean Comfort Tampons. The 16 count is $6.79 regularly priced and check your accounts. You should have a $3 off of one digital coupon that applies to these. So you'd end up paying $3.79 and then you can submit to Ibotta for $2 back on these. That makes one box of tampons just $1.79. There's also a really great deal on Poise products this week. Select Poise products are on sale for 2 for $12. These ones that are here are all included in that sale price. And then we have a $2 off of 2 digital coupon for these. So you could use that. You'd end up paying $10. Then you can submit to Ibotta for $3 back on each one. It's a limit of 2. So you're going to get a total of $6 back from Ibotta. And that makes two of these just $4 or $2 each. Plus, you can submit them to the Fetch Rewards app to get bonus points. Oftentimes, there's Fetch Rewards offers that pop up for additional cash back when you buy these and submit your receipt. So definitely go ahead and do that if you are going to pick these up. And if you don't already have the Fetch Rewards app, that one will also be linked in the description box down below. You're going to get a $2 bonus when you sign up for that one with my link and my referral code is 7YTUA. We still have a great deal on Scott toilet paper because they're on sale. Well, actually, they're regularly priced, it looks like, at $5. And we have the $1.25 Walgreens IVC coupon that's available in the IVC booklets. And it's also available as a digital version, and that's a Walgreens store coupon. And we have to pair with it a dollar manufacturer digital. So that makes each of these just $2.75. For P&G laundry products this week, they're on sale for $5.49 for select varieties, and they're also on promotion for when you buy four, you're going to get back a $6 manufacturer register reward. So what we're going to do is pick up four separate different P&G laundry products. First, grab a Tide liquid laundry detergent for $5.49. Then you're also going to grab a Tide pods for $5.49. You're going to grab a Downy Liquid Fabric Softener for $5.49. And finally, you're going to grab one of the Bounce Dryer Sheets for $5.49. Your total for all four items should come to $21.96. Everyone should have four separate $1 digital coupons that apply to each of the four different types of products. So $1 off of Tide Liquid, $1 off of Tide Pods, and then we have two separate digital coupons for $1 off of Downy or Bounce. You can use one of those for the Downy liquid and one of those for the down, for the Bounce dryer sheets. So that should take a total of $4 off in digital coupons. You'll be left to pay $17.96. You're going to get back that $6 manufacturer register award, which makes all four items $11.96 or just $2.99 each. If you need to build up your manufacturer register awards in order to use them on a spend booster transaction, this is a pretty good deal. So the Glide Floss Picks are on sale for $4, and through the end of August when you buy two, you're going to get back a $5 manufacturer register award. So you pick up two of them for $8 and use the $2 off two digital coupon, paying $6. Getting back that $5 manufacturer register award makes it just a dollar for both of them. And an uh, exact same deal applies for some of the Oral-B toothbrushes that are on sale for $4. You get back a $5 register award for buying two, plus there's a $2 off of two digital coupon. Select Colgate products, including toothbrushes and toothpaste, are on sale for $3.99 this week. And when you buy two, you're going to get back $4 in Walgreens cash. So you can pick up two of them for $7.98 and use the $4 off two digital coupon that we just got on July 24th. You'll pay $3.98, getting back that $4 in Walgreens cash makes them completely free. The Nature's Bounty Jelly Bean Vitamins are on sale for buy one, get one 50% off this week. And you're also going to get back $5 in Walgreens cash when you spend $20 on these products. So you're going to pick up two of them. They're priced at $14.99. At buy one, get one 50% off, it's going to be $22.49 for the two of them. 
we have a $3 off of two digital coupon. I had two separate coupons, a three off one and a $3 off two. So it doesn't really matter which one comes off. It'll take off $3. You would pay $19.49, but then you're going to get back $14.99 for buying two of them on Ibotta. Plus you're going to get back the $5 in Walgreens cash for spending 20. So that would make these a 51 cent moneymaker. Just remember that for spend deals that are giving back Walgreens cash, you cannot use Walgreens cash to pay. So you'd want to pay down your balance with either cash or manufacturer register awards. If you are near the pharmacy area or the first aid or pain relief area, check your end caps and your aisles to see if you can find some of these Walgreens store coupons for get $1 in Walgreens cash rewards when you buy any of these select pain relief items. They don't expire till the end of 2022, so I picked some of these up because I think they might come in handy in future weeks. Select Bic stationery products, including the highlighters and some pens, are on sale for two of them for $3. So we did have a 3 off 2 digital coupon, and if you clipped it to your card, you should still have it. Just look under your clipped coupons area to see if it's still there. So after that 3 off 2 digital coupon, the two of them will be completely free. This is everything that I'm planning on grabbing in my haul. I'm not 100% sure how my transactions are going to look out just depending on some digital coupons coming off or not and also seeing if my store is going to price match the Nexus online. Um, but this is everything I'm planning on grabbing. I'm planning on doing a bunch of separate transactions and one transaction use it, utilizing my spend 22 get 5 digital booster paired with my spend 30 get $8 in Walgreens cash paper booster. So hang on until my receipt breakdown to see how all the transactions went. I first started off with my side card for receipts because I needed more register awards, more manufacturer register awards. And I actually only had Walgreens cash on my side card and not on my main card. So I wanted to convert some Walgreens cash into register awards. So the first thing I grabbed in my first transaction was the Oral-B that are on sale for $4 each. And then I did grab the Playtex tampons for $6.79. I paid with a $4 store register award from last week, my $3 off of one Playtex and $2 off of two Oral-B toothbrush digitals came off. I had a $5.79 subtotal and I used $5 in Walgreens cash to pay. And then I earned back the $5 register award from the Oral-B and I also submitted to Ibotta for $2 back on the Playtex. So including the $4 store register award that I spent, I spent a total of $9.79, but got back the $5 register award for the Oral-B and $2 with the Playtex getting back a total of seven. So this was about a $2 loss, but I was totally okay with that getting tampons and earning a register award that I can use on my spend transaction. For transaction number two on my side card, I grabbed the Oral-B Floss. Those are $4 each and they're also on the same promotion as the toothbrushes for when you buy two, you get a $5 manufacturer register award. So I used a $4 store register award to pay. I had my $2 off two digital coupon come off, had a $2 subtotal I paid with $2 in Walgreens cash. And so in total, I paid out $6 on this transaction in Walgreens store money and got back the $5 manufacturer register award. So the two floss cost a dollar in Walgreens store money. But again, I'm totally okay with that because I need more register awards to pay down the balance and reduce my out of pocket on my spend transaction. My third transaction was also on my side card and on this transaction I wasn't using a spend booster. I was just grabbing some items that I wanted to pick up that I thought were good deals this week. So I did grab the big highlighters. They were two for $3 and if you had that digital for $3 off two clipped, then it shouldn't have disappeared for you. You can check and start placing a curbside pickup to ensure that you have it or you can check in your clipped coupons area of the Walgreens app and you should still see it. I had it clipped on one of my two accounts, so I was able to do it one time. Then I grabbed the Dove Body Wash at $7 each, and I grabbed the Colgate toothbrushes at $3.99 each. For digital coupons, my $7 off of two Dove digital came off, my $4 off of two for the Colgate, and my $3 off of two digital for the Bic came off. I paid with um, $10 in Walgreens cash on my $10.98 subtotal, and I got back $4 in Walgreens cash for the Colgate toothbrushes. I also got back a $4 store register award for the Dove. So paid out 1098, 
in store money, got back $8 in store money, making this a $2.90 loss, but totally okay with that being for Dove Body Wash. Okay, so now for my main card, this is my spend booster transaction. I had both a spend 22, get $5 in Walgreens cash, digital booster on this card. And then I also received a spend 30, get $8 in Walgreens cash paper booster from last week. My cashier was being a little bit difficult. And so I didn't want to attempt to use a one day expired paper booster, but I did earn an additional new spend 30, get eight paper booster on one of my previous transactions. So I went ahead and used that. I was right above the $30 spend amount, so I was able to use the spend 30, get eight paper booster paired with the spend 22, get five digital booster. What I grabbed on this transaction were the two CoverGirl concealers on clearance for $2.89. They're also buy one, get one 50% off. And then I grabbed the Dove Body Wash on my main card, $7 each. I grabbed the two Colgate toothbrushes for $3.99 each. And I grabbed the Playtex tampons at $6.79. Uh, they're the first line for the coupons. You can see my spend 30 get eight paper booster I also paid with $15 in manufacturer register awards three separate $5 register awards and for digital coupons my seven off two dove my four dollar off of two Colgate and my three dollar off of Playtex tampons all came off. I had a 410 subtotal so in total I paid with $15 in register awards $4.10 in cash, paying a total of $19.10 out. But I got back $17 in Walgreens cash. Eight of that was for my paper booster, $5 of that was with my digital booster, and $4 of that was from the Colgate toothbrushes. Plus, I also got back a $4 store register award from the Dove, and I submitted to the Ibotta app for $2 back on each of the CoverGirl concealers, and $2 for the Playtex tampons. So spending out $19.10, getting back a total of $25 in rewards makes this transaction a $6 moneymaker. And finally, I also did the Oral-B floss deal one more time on my main card. Used a $4 store register award to pay and the $2 off of two digital coupon. Paid with $2 in Walgreens cash. Got back a $5 register award. Um, so this was a $1 loss, but again, I just want manufacturer register awards to be able to, to be able to use them on spend deals in, in the following weeks. And we don't always have great manufacturer register award deals. I ran out of time, but I also wanted to do the Scott toilet paper deal because I'm at home visiting my parents. So I wanted to grab that. And I also wanted to grab the, the P and G laundry care deal for buy four, get a $6 register award with those dollar or dollar 50 digital coupons we have just because those digital coupons we don't get every single day. So I might go back and still grab those, but this is my haul for Sunday.